Hi and welcome. In today's video, we are going to talk about the best inner player at the moment. It's Hobbit. Hobbit is one of the reasons why Gambit is so strong at the moment. And on train especially, he's really really strong. In fact, he is one of the best or not even the best train player there is at the moment in the top 20 teams. If we take a quick look at the stats, we see a 1.36 rating, around 90 ADR, a really high impact rating and also an KD of 1.5, which is really really good. While watching some demos of Hobbit, I noticed some things. The first thing is, he never buys a defuse kit. Except maybe in the last round and when he has money left, but before that he never buys a defuse kit. I think the reason for that is, he just wants to have as much money as possible for nades and his guys in A should be the one buying the kits. The second thing I notice is that he's rather playing an M4 with just a smoke, then maybe an SMG like an MP9 or an UMP with more utility. Another thing I noticed is that most of the rounds he doesn't hold on onto the utility for a really long time. Mostly at around 1 minute or 1 minute 20 he's already out of utility. And in many or even most of the late rounds he has a double setup with Shiru. So one guy is holding upper and the other one is holding lower. But the most important thing I noticed is that from the 6 or 7 demos I watched in every demo he had a different game plan in the early game and that's what I'm going to focus on now. Before we take a look at the early rounds I want to show you a nice pistol setup Gambit is playing. In the setup Shiru is peeking upper and Hobbit is holding a support flash from on site. The idea of the setup is Shiru wants to get contact so the enemies are focused on him, then Hobbit is throwing a flashbang so the enemies are blind and therefore Shiru can get some free kills. The first game where I want to highlight his early game setups is against Furia. In this game he nearly every round threw a smoke and a flashbang from lower into brown holes. I'm just going to show you three examples how he played around the smoke. The first example is round 2. In this round he is just jiggle peeking lower after he threw the smoke and kind of waiting how Furia or the enemies are going to react on his smoke and flashbang. It looks to me like he just wants to gather some information that he can use in the following rounds. The next example I want to show you is round 3. In this round he goes aggressive behind the smoke and it's a really smart choice because with an SMG you kind of have to use your surprise factor against the gun round and therefore smartly done by him. After the smoke was fading he decided to push through showers but he sadly got caught off guard. The third example I want to show you from the Fury game is round 4. In this round you can not only see another way he's playing in the early game, you can also see what I meant by he likes to buy an M4 and lower nades and you can see what I meant by he dumps his utility out straight away as he just throws his nade and the smoke right at the start and doesn't have any utility behind it. After throwing the smoke, he throws his nade into the smoke to deal some damage, which he does. After some time, he falls back towards bomb train because he knows his timings really well and kills Yuri because of it. What a smart player. The next early game plan I want to highlight is from the game against Whistler Krakow. In this game he played a lot from upper and just like before I'm giving you three examples of how he played from upper. The first example is from round 3. In this round he is running upper and molotoving deep into brown holes. Then he is smoking the molotov and going close behind it. After the smoke fades he is dropping down lower ramp. He doesn't get any kills in this sequence but he's denying Whistler Krakow brown holes for around 30 seconds with just a molotov and a smoke. The next round I want to show you is round 7. In this round he is running upper again but he gets smoked off. After the smoke fades some T's are pushing in and although Hobbit is failing his molotov his nade does really nice damage and I really love his positioning afterwards where he's just running backwards so nobody can surprise him from upper and he gets 2 kills because of it. 
The third example I want to show you is round 30. In this round, he gets Molotov, but it doesn't care about it because he has a double setup with Shairu, who is on lower, and Hobbit on upper. The idea of the setup is when Shairu gets contact, Hobbit is going around and kills the guy, just like it happens in this case. Really smart setup by Gambit. Afterwards, Hobbit is again throwing his smoke and Molotov combo towards the end of Brown Horse just to secure Brown Horse for another 20 to 30 seconds. The last early game game plan I want to show you is from the match against Navi. In this game, Hobbit was really aggressive and you could see him often pushing towards Pop Dog. In the first example, in round 7, he does exactly that. He just pushes straight away up Brown Horse into Pop Dog. Mainly because he, the guys on A may be called an A rush or something like that, but 20 seconds into the round, having pushed through Brown Horse into Pop Dog is really fast. And with getting the last two kills in a 2v2 situation, Hop secures Gambit another round. The second example I want to show you from the Naui game is round 3. In this round, he's firstly making some noise on lower with throwing some flashbangs and nades around it. Then he's rotating upper just to surprise Boomich, who isn't ready for him at all because he made some noise on lower before and gets a kill because of it. Afterwards, we can see his Molotov again and he's even aggressing towards Pop Dog in the late round. The last example I want to show you from the Naui game is round 30. In this round, he's not aggressing straight away in the early round, he's waiting till around 1 minute and 20 and aggresses then. Sadly for Hobbit, Flamey has his angle covered and therefore Hobbit dies. To conclude this video and to why I think Hobbit is the best inner player at the moment. In my opinion, Hobbit is the best inner player just because he is so versatile. He doesn't do the same thing after and after again, match after match. He has different game plans and he can execute them really, really well. He can go aggressive on high ramp, he can go aggressive on lower, he can play around smokes really well, he can play defensive, he can do everything. And on top of that, he is really great aim, he is really experienced and smart and he even has one of the best AWPers at the moment in Shairu to back him up. Because of that, Hobbit is in my opinion the best inner player at the moment. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to this channel. As usual, thanks for watching and see you soon.